Hi, this is Nick with ASUS, and welcome back to our ASUS North America YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at the ASUS Matrix Platinum AMD Radeon R9 280X graphics card. So these just launched. This is part of AMD's new GPU lineup called Hawaii, and the 280X is going to be very near the top end of this new lineup. So you are going to see this Matrix Platinum version of it. And for those who are maybe a little bit unfamiliar with the non-reference cards that ASUS makes, the Matrix Platinum, we basically redesigned from the ground up, so it's completely different than the reference designs that you'll see out there. A um, the lot beefier power delivery, much quieter uh, noise, much cooler temps. We aim for about 20% lower temps and 20% less noise um, on operation, and then as well as built with a lot more sturdier materials like the Japanese 10K caps for a lot longer lifespan. So that, now that we've done a little bit of an overview on it, let's delve a little bit deeper into the specs of the card. Okay, so taking a look at the card here, we can see right away, right off the bat, that it is a triple slot card. So for optimal cooling, um, we've decided to stick with the, with the triple slot design. You see a big, beefy radiator on the inside there and two 10-centimeter fans. So as opposed to the single 8-centimeter fan that you're going to find on the reference design card, um, you have two big, burly 10-centimeter fans here. Um, let's take a look at the I.O. ports on the outside here. We have at the top, we have a single link DVI and a dual link DVI. And then the packaging will also come with a DVI to HDMI adapter. So you can go ahead and have all your connections on that end, as well as you can see on the bottom here, the four display ports. So as far as display port um, connections, if you want to be 4K ready, if you want to, you already have a 4K display, that's going to be perfect um, in order to get that connection up and running. Um, if we look at the top of the card here, um, we do see we have a couple uh, crossfire connections here, um, as well as two 8-pin power connectors on the top back end here for your PCI Express power to route in from your power supply. And then on the back here, here um, keeping in line with a lot of the other Matrix cards, we do have some hot uh, buttons here on the back. So we have a 100% fan button. Um, we have plus and minus buttons for voltage control, so that if you have the card out on a test bench, you can go ahead and manually adjust the voltage right off the card like that. And then at the end here, we have a safe mode button, so if you're getting a lot of uh, overclocking in, maybe you're messing with the card, seeing how much the memory can do, how much the GPU can do, maybe something messes up, you can go right in here and just click the safe mode button, it'll reset the card to defaults, much like clearing your CMOS on your motherboard. Um, taking a look at a little bit of the rest here, on the back we can see that we do have the backplate installed. Um, comes with the card, so this adds a little bit of rigidity, um, maybe protection to some of the components on the back of the PCB if you're a little rough handling the card sometimes. And then other than the cooler on the top end, um, there is a little base plate here on the bottom that separates the cooling of the VRMs. So these are cooling the VRMs in the back, um, while the radiator um, with the two fans is cooling the GPU um, that's sitting directly below here. So now that we've taken a look at a little bit of the card, let's go over some of the specs of the card. Okay, so talking a little bit more about this 280X GPU in comparison to the reference design. Um, you are going to have 2048 stream processors. You are going to have 3 gigs of GDDR5 384-bit memory. That's not going to change. Um, what is going to change on this Matrix Platinum is going to be the clock speeds and then some of the other features that you're going to get from the card. So clock speed-wise, on the GPU, you're going to get 1100 megahertz stock on this card, of course, with options to go higher on your own overclocking, but compared to the reference at 1000 MHz, so that means you're going to get um, a 100 MHz bump in comparison to the reference just on the GPU. Memory-wise, we're talking about 6400 MHz stock on this Matrix Platinum card compared to the 6000 MHz stock, so about four, uh, 400 MHz bump from the reference design. Um, power circuitry-wise, you're dealing with a 20-phase uh, VRM uh, power supply compared to the 12 phase of the reference. And then, of course, cooling wise, you have a big, uh, beefier solution with the radiator, the two 10 centimeter fans um, compared to the single 8 centimeter fan uh, on the reference design. Okay, so some of the remaining features that you're going to see on this ASUS Matrix Platinum AMD Radeon R9 280X graphics card are going to be the GPU tweak, of course. So, our ongoing software that we use for uh, voltage tuning, GPU clock tuning, memory clock tuning, fan profile curves. Um, you're going to get all that great software along with a new feature that's launching along with this card and will be compatible with our other cards. You're going to have live streaming support. So you can go ahead and live stream out your gameplay as well. Um, some of the other, other features as well is going to be VGA Hotwire. So if you want direct hardware level access to uh, voltage tuning, whether it's for your memory or for your GPU on the graphics card, um, you can go ahead and use that. 
Uh, we also have load line calibration. So if you're overclocking to the edge, you really want to keep that stable, stable amount of voltage going to the GPU. You don't want it to go up or down depending on load. Um, the load line calibration will help you out on that end. And then the final one is going to be VRM overclocking. So the VRMs that sit towards the back of the PCB here, you can see the durability frame um, that kind of runs along the top here. Uh, is going to sit right along on top of the VRMs and, you're gonna, and it's going to be cooling those and serving as double du duty just for durability and for cooling. And the VRM you can overclock, so the higher frequency you run the VRM at, the cleaner power you're going to get. There is a trade-off with heat, um, but that's going to all going to be in your hands, of course. Okay, so that wraps it up for this ASUS Matrix Platinum AMD Radeon R9-280X graphics card. Uh, we went over some of the features of the card, what makes it different in terms of, uh, in comparison to the reference design of the card, um, how the Matrix Platinum is built up from the ground up for better cooling, better power delivery, and of course better feature set and more expansive feature set. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, if, you go, if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe our ASUS North America YouTube page, and we'll see you next time.